Here we are, a world well known to everyone, our wholly humble, humdrum one. Warm, familiar, reassuring, and truth to tell, just a little boring. But two worlds now are in condition through the magic we call Fable Vision. Word of warning to you, the brave volunteer, about how things tend to go down around here. You see, you can't complain and shouldn't grumble should your self-esteem take a little tumble. For here too, life can turn the tables in the world of funky fables. <laughs> Who's made it through? Today's episode, Beauty School Breakout. Cursed by a witch for her parents' meager crime, a baby, Rapunzel, was forced to do time. Trapped in a tower, no one did care until she grew up with strong, healthy hair. Rather by accident than by design, a handsome prince arrives bang on time at a building ruinous and overgrown with weeds, a place simply crying out for princely deeds. For deep within these walls, delicate as a flower, lies poor Rapunzel captive in her tower. Ah! Can you smell that? Not yet, sir. Not that, you buffoon! I mean, freedom! The open road! Oh, I see. I mean, I see your point. I just don't smell it. So, why are we on a quest to rescue Rapunzel, then? Couldn't you just have made do with one of the local girls? Have you never hankered after something better? Have you never sought to improve your circumstances? Not really, sir. I accept my lot in life. Which, <laughs> let's face it, is not a lot. And I just try to do the best I can with the hand that fate has given me. A hand that has made you a footman. Well, I was never going to make it into the ballet school. Ha! Here we are, then. This shouldn't take long. <laughs> All right. See you in a bit. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Let down your... Oof! Come and get me. Ah! What splendid looks! <laughs> With tresses as silken and fine as this, Rapunzel must be a fine specimen of maidenhood. All this time, <laughs> alone in her tower, <laughs> Rapunzel will be glad to see me! Where, where, where is Rapunzel and why are you imprisoned? Rapunzel's right here, and I think you'll find you are the prisoner. You see, you're one of Rapunzel's boys now. At least you will be. So long as you do your chores and study hard. But if you don't... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what did you do to get in here? The same as the rest of us. Nothing. Now, can it? Go to the library during afternoon wreck. I'll be in the manicure section. Let's see now. Exfoliation, sterilization, facial, pedicure, manicure. Aha! Are all the books in here to do with the beauty process? What do you think we're here for? I don't know. I've been here for six years, 12 days, two hours, and eight minutes of brushing, buffing, plucking, waxing, shaving, shaping, teasing, tweezing, snipping, scrubbing, straightening, pampering, plumping, releasing toxins, rounding up free radicals, relieving anxiety, restoring vitality, boosting immunity, and... <gasps> making small talk. 
But why? To make Rapunzel beautiful. Now, hush. Here she comes. Keep with those books, boys. I can feel the hairs on my legs bristling for waxing. I say, who was that? Who was what? There, behind Rapunzel. Oh, that's Susan, Rapunzel's handmaiden. No one ever notices her. I think I'm in love. Don't get any ideas. The last person that spoke to Susan was put on banyan duty for three years straight. <laughs> oh, 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 I can't trim your hair if you keep giggling. I can't help it. <laughs> it tickles. <laughs> Shut I have an idea. <laughs> Start saving wax strips. Oh, 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 oh it's working! It's, it's, it's working! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> There's got to be another way. Hey, I've got it. Has anyone ever tried talking to Rapunzel? I don't know. Maybe all we have to do is win over her confidence. Ow! It must be terrible for you, trapped in this tower, you know, with a witch's curse and all. <laughs> oh, the curse wore off yonks ago. It did? It did? Then why the... Look at me. Everyone's heard about the beautiful Rapunzel. I'm a legend. Handsome princes come from miles around to rescue me. How do you think people are going to react when they see me emerge from the tower? So, you're saying you're free to leave here any time you like? I am saying that I am not leaving until I feel confident that I look the absolute best that I can. Because frankly, I'd rather be lonely in this tower than out there on my own. But Rapunzel, appearances aren't everything. <laughs> Would you have come to rescue me if you'd known how I look? Well, maybe not. But now I'm getting to know the real Rapunzel, the person inside the person inside the tower. Just shut up and get on with it. And no streaks this time. Rapunzel's curse wore off ages ago. She's a prisoner only to her lack of confidence. The only shackles are the ones in her mind. So all we have to do is make her feel good about herself, and then she'll let us all go. Yeah, but... What? If we had to slay a dragon or go on a quest and bring back the head of something hideous, I'd give it a go. But sweet-talking Rapunzel? Ha! It's gonna take a bigger man than me! So, if we can't go over the wall, we'll have to go under it. We're all set. All we need now is a distraction. So, let's do a version of the ballet, Swine Lake. You got all your civilian disguises and your prince's papers in case you get caught. Yeah, got yeah. yes. Okay, it's my tunnel, so I'm going in first. Good luck, lads. Quick! Last one! Oh, it's you, Rapunzel! So this is what a real man looks like! Come here! Oh, you're gorgeous! I love you! 
So what is the moral of our tale today? If you think you're unattractive, don't lock yourself away. Try not to be a meanie or a horrible bully. Look around and find someone who appreciates you fully. Well, now Rapunzel has the full attentions of my footman, I don't suppose she'll be needing a lady-in-waiting. Susan, will you be my bride? Aye, a red pet. That'd be chop smart. I can't wait to tell me mum and dad they'd be made of like. <laughs>